Hi everyone, Marcus here from Medpack and if you love tech and if you love discounts, this is the place for you. And today we are riding with the veteran chairman of a friend of mine that is behind. He brought me this one so I could test and uh, have a look because he was not having the best experience in the world with it. And I'm giving you my first thoughts and my first impression. So first of all, out of the box, you definitely need to put some power pads. Another thing that I have to say is this wheel is super, super comfortable. And uh, the wheel really wants to just stay straight when you try to curve you really have to put some weight when you try to curve with this wheel i really like that type of experience when you're riding with an electric unicycle i said that already before with the z10 basically they was trying to ride with the z10 like they ride the other wheels i said already before with the the msp you need to use all your body to definitely curve and and do stuff so that i really like that type of riding and this wheel is really really comfortable and that is one thing that I always search on my wheel and definitely even the comfort on my feet is really really good but this wheel just first impression I had one thing that I really didn't like on the wheel when I was just curving I was feeling a lot of pedal dipping in the front and that becomes quite dangerous I had that experience when I was riding with the King Song uh, 16X. I was curving to the right, and when I'm curving to the right at the moment, uh, it basically bends to the front. So. But that was, oh, okay. Okay, the feeling here that I really hate to pass here with the wheel is the same as having suspension. <laughs> So definitely cool, something that I really, really enjoy. The wheel is not as responsive as an MSP, for example. So when you go for an MSP, it really, really starts to accelerate easily. But the response on this one, after a while, it starts to accelerate more and more. But in the beginning, okay, I have the beepings at 30 something. I have the tilt back at 50s. Without the power pads, I definitely... But yeah, you can see when you are curving, I don't know if it's possible to see on the video, but when you are curving, it really bends you in front. So without power pads, I really feel that the wheel is just throwing me out. And the mode that I have, I have in strong. So I called a few of my friends, I called the Bonheur sur Seine. We are back. I called also wrong way. See you soon. They were saying that that is normal. Also, I called another friend of mine, Dami Lola, and I tried to explain to him what I was feeling. They have changed, and uh, if you want to change this tilt back sensation, and if you have one of the first ones, you need to do a hardware update. And a uh, hardware update is not like the most uh, funny thing in the world to do. Overall, what I can say, I really like the cage. I really like the size. If I have a seating, I could sit here, but obviously if you do that, you can't have power pads just going on top of the grass. It's smooth, but like I said, when you curve really, really tight, I really feel that the wheel is pushing me in front. And if you try to change the angle of your wheel, it's even more uncomfortable. The rest is super stable, just going straight. It gives me a bit the sensation of the Z10, you know, just wants to go straight. But after curving is, is this issue that I'm not really enjoying. I really like the screen, so having the possibility to see how fast I'm going, how much battery I have, it's something that all the electric unicycles should have. I really like the, um, the tire, the tire is really really grippy, like you can expect of this type of tire. When we talk about the handle, I have to say to you guys that I really like, but also I don't like. So what I'm saying with this is the handle is much better than, for example, the handle on the Kingsong S18, so it's stronger, but in the same time some of the plastics on the top, it starts breaking and is completely new. This wheel have only 20 kilometers until now, but the front light is super, super strong. I feel that it's quite similar to the experience that you can have with the um, S18 or a little bit brighter. Another thing that I really like on this wheel is the possibility to just interchange the light. So if you don't like that one or if it breaks, it's really easy just to change and you can customize, make other pads to put, for example, on all the, the cage that you have around this wheel. Without suspension, this is the wheel, the most comfortable wheel that I tried until today. So if you are searching for something that you can go really fast and also another thing that I like about the Sherman that I also don't like in a certain way is how close you are from the floor so when you are trying to go really really fast you have the possibility to really feel in control accelerating is good braking it's okay but I'm used to ride with the MSP and when I, I try to brake because the wheel is lighter it's easier for me to just 
push in the side and do like a hard break. I'm not sure if I'm going to purchase or not the, the veteran. Overall, it's good besides this issue. If you have a more recent Sherman, you should not have this issue. But if you purchase from China, that is what happens with my friend. He purchased from AliExpress and I have already said to all of you guys, yeah, you get cheaper prices, but after it's quite complicated to solve your issues. And in this case, you need to do it with hardware, not with software, because obviously also another thing that uh, you don't have with the uh, veteran chairman is the possibility to connect your wheel to your phone and obviously doing some software updates. Another thing just to let you know is this wheel, when you are curving, it really wants to just fall to the sides. So it's a bit scary in the beginning, but after you, you start to get used, I'm used to wheels like, like I said, the MSP and others, that when you try to do a curve, you see, it's really, it really pushes you to do that curve in a certain way, so it maintains you straight, but when it starts to just dip to the sides, that I believe that is because of the weight of the wheel, it makes the curve much easier and much faster. So, check this out. Woo! I don't trust to do the curves, you see guys, and he's dipping me in front. And now let's accelerate. I put now the beepings for 50 kilometers per hour. So just is not my wheel. I can't really push where I really want it. Yeah, we are at 50. But yeah, I can feel that the wheel have much more power to, to deliver. And that is simply, simply amazing and makes me already love <laughs> the Sherman in the same way, you know. And it's super, super stable. So all the small irregularities that I'm feeling at 50 kilometers per hour, is like I'm using a suspension. And that is simply amazing. And I have, like you already know, I own the V11 and I own also the S18. Another thing that I really, really like is the tire sound. It's simply beautiful. But yeah, now a curve here, but the... Oh. This wheel, I think, when more you ride, more you love it. Because I'm just, I'm just pushing it and... <laughs> okay, this part is the cool part. I don't like to curve, but to accelerate, it's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, let's go, baby. Like I said, I just have today to, to try it. But when you are curving, okay. Oh, but when you are curving, you, the wheel doesn't respond to you until a certain angle. And that for me, it's a bit uncomfortable. But after, you see, when you reach almost like 45 degrees, the wheel just bend like crazy. And it helps you to do that very, very tight curve when you are in high speed. And that is obviously by the body and weight distribution that you have. The delivery and the stability that you have on the Sherman in high speed, it's, man, it's incredible. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.